for those of you who are spiritually woo woo people or you've had so much chronic pain for so long, you've tried everything, you throw all the money you can at it, everything to get out of pain, the adhesion release, the muscle strengthening, the metabolic work, the emotional work, everything. There's nothing else that you could potentially look under to see if you can find a solution for your chronic pain. Then what you need to do is teach your body how to feel good. We need to teach our body how to feel good so that we can heal ourselves. Because when normal doctors and our conventional healthcare and medical system doesn't have answers anymore and everybody just says to you you're screwed what are you supposed to do even if you're diagnosed with terminal cancer and they say you're screwed you can try chemo sure but there's nothing else for you do you just give up or do you default to this human body that can heal anything if you truly give it the opportunity and the space to do that and in order to allow that potential healing to come to your body, you need to raise the energetic vibration and frequency that your heart and the rest of your body resonates at. And it'll be really hard because you might have certain emotional patterns that are, have not only been there as you've been in pain for however long, but have been with you since childhood. And if those dense, low frequency emotions are running your life every single day and you're always feeling shitty and you're always feeling depressed and there are no other answers for you it's going to be really hard but what we found with our pain-free and happy course and the people who are doing the work with us is that when they close their eyes and they're closing their eyes feeling really crap and shitty about themselves but when we super relax the body and we start to go inside and go deep and we start to feel the heart space and we start to cultivate gratitude for something, joy, love for something in our lives, people can start to transmute and transform that low frequency emotion to something that resonates higher. And when we can start to resonate higher and we find those emotional states that start to allow us to feel good despite our external circumstances, despite the pain and anything else that's shitty happening in life, people can start to find space to heal so whether you're just doing this through meditation or you're using neuro-linguistic programming techniques like I'm doing, if you watch me, it's November 2020 right now, every single morning I go outside, I go in the cold lake, it's not frozen yet, and as I'm walking to the lake, I put my hands up and I start going like this, yes, so I can practice elevating my emotional state so that I feel good despite whatever I'm dealing with because I know that when I'm feeling good, I can heal anything, I can create or manifest anything I want in my life without me having to consciously do anything. So yeah, this is super woo woo. And yeah, if you're in chronic pain, you might be like, fuck this guy. <laughs> I don't like what he's talking about. I'm not going to do it. But if you have no other options and no other answers, how can you cultivate feeling good? Whether it's through meditation, Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, or whether it's through some neurolinguistic programming techniques, put your hands up in the air like you've achieved or won something, saying yes, or just bringing your fist like this to your heart and saying yes, whatever it is, anchoring that feeling of feeling good into your body. When there's no other answers, what else do you do? Sure, you can just give up, but this is life. You deserve more than that.